we're going to be working with a tune called For Your Precious Love. This was one of the first tunes that I learned when I was a kid in the garage band. And so I really, this one really takes me back. This one's for you, Edmondo. First, let's get started with the chord list. And it's going to start with a D flat chord. Okay, we're going to be playing a lot of bar chords in this one, okay? Because that's, the, back in those days, all the guys played bar chords. The old soul music had a bunch of bars in it, okay? And this is a D flat bar chord. We're at the uh, fourth fret on the A string with the first finger. Now to get our ma bar major, we're going to have to come in with our third finger up here at the uh, sixth fret and cover the B string, the G, the G string, and the D string to get that chord. Okay, so just like that. There's your D flat. Okay. Now that we're going to strum these chords in this fashion. We're only going to play the notes that we're holding down or the, you know, the four strings here that, that the uh, fingers are on on the chords and we'll show you uh, as we go which ones we need to play. Okay, so this is our D flat. We're going to move down to a B flat minor down here. We're going to make that chord by going to B flat. That's the first fret, first finger on the first fret on the A string and come in with your third finger on the D string at the third fret. Then you got to bring in your pinky just under that at the third fret on the G string. Then you have to take your second finger here and put it on the second fret on the B string. Okay? So that's our chord right there. And that's our B flat minor. It's a B flat minor right there. Now we're going to strum that chord the same way. We're just sweeping the strings starting with the uh, A string going down. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then we start over. Okay? This song is in three, four times. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? Now, the next chord is going to be a G flat chord. We're going to go up to the second fret with the first finger on the low E string. Same shape as we did on the B flat minor chord. We're going to bring in the third finger at the fourth fret on the A string. Bring in the pinky just under that at the fourth fret on the D string and then you're going to take your second finger and place it on the G string at the third fret. Okay, and that, that's our G flat. Just like that. That's the sound you're looking for. Now, all we have to do to get the next chord, which is an A flat major chord, is raise it to the fourth fret. Just like that. And that's our last chord. Now we're back to our key, which is D flat. Okay? Now it's going to go something like this. D flat. B flat minor. G flat. Just once, and then A flat, just once, and then back to D flat. Pretty easy, right? Now I'm going to go to a grid that I set up for you and show you how these chords look on paper. Here's what our chords look like on paper. 
This is our D flat. As you can see, you've got your first finger here on the uh, A string at the fourth fret, and then you're barring everything at the sixth fret to get the sound. The B flat minor got our first finger at the first fret, as you can see. That's right. Now, G flat, second fret on the low E string, same form, and then raise that to A flat at the fourth fret, or the first fingers at the fourth fret. That's our A flat, and then we go back to our beginning chord, which is D flat. And that progression is repeated throughout the song. So all you really have to do is to learn how to play this chord progression, and you'll be playing for your precious love. An old Jerry Butler.